My name is Abigail Roots. I am the program manager for the Joint Science and Technology Office for Chemical and Biological Defense, Small Business Innovation Research, and Small Business Technology Transfer, uh, more commonly known as ChemBio Defense Small Business. I'm going to talk to you today about um, our program and our areas of focus and how we hope to be able to work with more small businesses to advance the research that uh, we look forward to utilizing in the future. Um, <clears throat> what's really unique about our particular program is that we don't support one individual agency or service or laboratory. Uh, rather, we work with a number of the DOD components in that if there is a topic area that's specifically chemical and biological defense, we can work with that component to help fund the research. Uh, so it's it's more of a joint effort. Since we're joint sciences, you can think of it like the joint services. Uh, for example, if Army has a topic um, where they're looking for textiles to develop clothing, where the user it's still comfortable and breathable fabric. However, it prevents um, certain chemical or biological agents from penetrating the fabric. That falls into our lane, even though it's an army topic. And that's where we can work together to leverage the funding for the research that would be for army, but at a higher level, it's across the ChemBio uh, arena. And that's how we, we support the other agencies and the other services. Um, on average, we do about five to eight small business innovation research topics um, annually, and the small business technology transfer is about one every other year. Um, there's different pools of money, different funding. Um, it's a percentage taken out of a larger DOD um, taxable to the, the DOD firms who have an R&D uh, investment and then that gets divvied up between the agencies. And we're a smaller program, but uh, that's about the number that we can fund annually and semi-annually. We work in the technology readiness level between TRL three and five. So we don't fund basic research, but we're right there with phase one, where it is the proof of concept. Phase two is we actually want you to start building the technology. And then from phase two to phase three is where we hope you would be able to leverage um, finding a larger business or um, another larger funding pool that's non cibber to do the phase three, which is the goal that's getting the, the product or the technology to commercialization, to get it actually out to the warfighter or to the, the individual. Um, phase one, it's about six months. At month five, you can submit for a phase two proposal. Uh, we do not do direct to phase two, but if you have been awarded a phase one contract, you're automatically allowed to submit for a phase two. Our contracts are FAR based, so that is federal acquisition regulations. So we are held to the regulations of federal acquisitions. Um, they are also firm fixed price, so that when we agree to a contract amount, that'll be the amount for the phase one. Um, so the the firms who are awarded a phase one, their phase two has to still be reviewed as if the phase ones were submitted and the proposal reviewed, um, but about 50% do get selected, 50% or more get selected for a phase two. Our technology areas of interest, again, it stays within that ChemBio lane. Um, medical science and technologies would be vaccines, um, pretreatments, Biological countermeasures, um, that's also a big one where perhaps therapeutics that are primarily targeting um, pathogens such as anthrax or botulism or even more of the um, Burkhold areas, if uh, the warfighter might be going into an area that they could be exposed to this, we look for um, either prophylactics or treatments. Also chemical countermeasures, um, I mentioned earlier, perhaps a fabric where the wearer would be protected. Um, digital battle space, so modeling simulation, data fusion, even disease surveillance, if it falls within chemical biological defense, we've also funded surveillance of diseases in say animal research um, where we can possibly track the threat. 
Also physical science and technology, uh, so detection or protection. Um, we've worked with wearable technology that could alert the warfighter that they are possibly having physiological symptoms of illness before any known signs or symptoms develop. Um, so that's just a, an example of where our focus tends to be. So even though it's within the ChemBio lane, it's actually really broad what we do look for and how we do fund um, the small businesses and their, their technology.